WFM Detroit. You know, a lot of controversy concerning the closing of the automobile plants around here, and uh, we'd like to talk about it, so let's take a phone call. Let's take a caller, Holly from Lansing, Michigan. Uh, you're on WFM. Yeah, hi, Mark. This is Holly. Hey. Thank you. For what? For taking the scenic route to California. For giving Tyler his first vacation. Well, you're welcome, but... I don't know if I call it vacation. What do you mean? According to this map, we're almost in Utopia. <laughs> Look! There it is! <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Stick with me, baby. We're going places. <laughs> Welcome to Utopia, Ohio, the dancing pink capital of the world. get so lucky. What do you mean? I mean, you really would have let me have a jungle bedroom. Yeah, why not? I'm just lucky, that's all. Luke, are you sure you're not going to miss Detroit? Not as long as I have you and Tyler. This is the updated farmer's report from Oklahoma and the surrounding states. This is, this has got to be the radioactive state. Everything is five times as large as it is everywhere else. We've got to go. All right. Think. Where is it? It's right on the Mexican border. Think of it. Margaritas, fiestas. Dame un beso, por favor. Uh, does that mean give me a kiss? Mm-hmm.
Call in at 1047. Tell them we've got Jimmy Neal and a half dozen illegals out here splattered all over the road. 10-4, Captain. Good evening, folks. Good evening, officer. Sorry for the inconvenience. You can see we've got a problem out here. What do you got in the back? Those are our belongings. We're, uh, we're moving to California. Officer, please, the baby's sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell you what, folks, you can proceed on very slowly and stay as far left as you can. Be prepared to stop. Go ahead on now. from around here? Yes, ma'am. Right this way. Tyler. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Daddy will be right back. these for you for you for the ask thanks hang on Tyler you all set yeah let's go Sixteen on the nose. Thanks a lot. Sure. Nikki, can you pay him? Oh, yeah. Lou, can you come here, please? What's the matter? The money. It's gone. What do you mean? It was in my bag, and it's gone. I have this 20 that I keep in the side pocket, but that's it. Well, it's got to be here, right? I paid the bill at the motel this morning. It must have fallen out. Maybe it's in one of those suitcases. I, I paid the bill after we'd already packed. It's not here. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Give me the 20. Thank you. Thank you. So where y'all headed on such a fine morning? Uh, west. Actually, one tank of, of gas, west. California. Lou got a job on the stock car racing team. Stock car racing team? How did you get a job like that? Oh, guess I just got lucky. Yeah, well, we won't be so lucky if we don't get to Hollywood by Monday. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hotel. Maybe they found it. It's not the kind of place that holds lost money for anyone. I know. I just... I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? We've already called everyone we know. There's no one else we can borrow from. Nikki. Hey, hey, Nikki. Nikki. Hey, you've been through worse, right? Huh?
Shh, 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 Tyler. You want more coffee, huh? Let's get that table now in front. Morning. Hi. Hi there, little guy. Do y'all want to see menus, or do you just want the usual like everybody else? Oh, no, just some coffee. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, how much for a donut? Uh, the 40 apiece. Can we get one of those, please? That's it? Yeah. Thanks. I think I can handle that, little guy. You're not eating? You eat. You know I'm gonna have to go look for a job. Gotta eat something. No, we gotta get back on the road. I should cover you and Tyler when I'm gone. I've gotta get him some diapers or we're gonna have a real problem. Just go with you. Probably be easier if you didn't. You're gonna wish me luck. Luck. Hey, good luck to Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the money, that's all we have. Howdy. Back for more gas? Sorry to bother you guys. All right. So, just wonder if you had any extra work here. Oh, you're on your way to California? I am. Uh, we had a change of plans. You know. you know, I'm really good with cars. Four years on the line back in Detroit. Is that right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So, if you know the people in these parts, they could balance the tires on their strollers where they could walk. You got two around here? Yeah. Well, they can fix them, right? I can build them. Well, you could be Henry Ford. People still gonna fix their own. There's nothing I can do around here. I mean, I'll pump gas, I'll fix flats. I mean, I'll sweep up if you want me to. It's just that, uh... Never mind. No, what? What? You got what? I... I got a family that I have to take care of. I just need a couple days' work. See, that's all I'm asking for. Now, I thought you was heading to California to be a big-time race car driver. No, 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 no. You weren't listening right. He said he was a mechanic, not the driver to leave the driving to the professionals, right? Sorry, I don't have nothing for you. Now the tourist season's over. Hey, you might have more luck in San Antonio. Thanks for the tip.
Well, if it ain't the great bounty hunter himself. Hope you don't scare off the hell of lice that way we'll never get to eat. Well, excuse me, Mr. Kane, but I came in here for the biscuits and gravy, not a bowl full of your bullshit. Whoa, excuse me, darling. I'm sorry, uh, Sheriff. I'm only your sheriff if you're not an American. Captain Elias, Texas Border Control. My buddy. Excuse me. At your service, Hampton. Hey, must be some mistake. I didn't order this. Now, don't say anything. Just relax and enjoy a little Texas hospitality. But I can't pay for this. Don't worry, hon. I'm just gonna charge you for the donut and coffee. Thank you. Ma'am, this is so nice. I mean, it's really too generous. Can I work it off in the kitchen or something? <laughs> That's real sweet. But there's no point working here when the, the pay's so low, and that wouldn't call it pocket change. Well, anyway, I'm Nikki. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a pleasure, Nikki. People call me Connie. Good morning, Connie. Morning, Elias. Elias, Jimmy Neal was a popular boy around here. I hear he's gonna be drinking out of a straw the rest of his life. You can't expect people to take kindly to you treating him like that. With all due respect, Kane, Jimmy Neal was evading arrest with a truck full of illegals. Elias? Okay. Drink your cola. Don't you mind Elias Nine? He just lives by them dang law books. His daddy got sent to Brownsville when he was eight years old for life. That boy was so ashamed. He never went to see his daddy once. So sad. It is sad. That's why he can't understand that life is just full of mistakes. Afternoon. Who are you? You from the church? No, sir. I'm just looking for some work. Don't need any help. Can you just give me a chance? I mean, I've been up and down these roads all day. You know? My wife and kid are hungry. We don't even have a place to sleep tonight. You take one step closer, I'll blow your head off. I'm sorry. Keep it short and have the usual. Well, how about that? I figured I'd find you in here, Elias. Afternoon, miss. 
Hi. Oh, I thought I saw your husband outside seeing earlier. I figured I'd find you with him. My husband isn't sightseeing. He's job hunting. Job hunting? I thought y'all were going to Hollywood. I'll bet you're fixing on going into the movies, right? I mean, you already look like a movie star. We're only staying until we have enough money to be on our way. There's something I can do for you? Well, as a matter of fact, there he is. You can find yourself a new line of work before I put you out of business. Forcing a man to give up his livelihood. Now, that sounds un-American to me. Now, I've been running that service station for 10 years. <laughs> Besides, I get to meet all sorts of people. I'm the kind of person who likes to meet people. Don't get cute with me. You ain't half as smart as you think you are, buddy. I've had a hunch all along that you and Jimmy Neal were coyotes. Just a matter of time before I bring the big hammer down on you. Yeah, well, I ain't roadkill yet, so why don't you get off my back? I bet your daddy's rolling over in his grave right now. He'd be real proud of you, wouldn't he? You gotta excuse Elias. He ain't a bad man. He just got some peculiar ideas about how the local economy works. What'd you do to get him so upset? It don't really matter now, does it? Now, if you're going to California, that don't leave you much time to sample our fine hospitality. I mean, here you are. Deep in the heart of Texas, I bet you ain't even learned a two-step yet. I could teach you. It ain't hard. I don't doubt that. <laughs> No, I've got the baby. All right, then. Pleasure to meet you, miss. I'm Nicole. People call me Nikki. Well, Miss Nicole, my name's Dean. People refer to me as Dean. <laughs> Come on, let's two-step, baby. Let's show how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Uh, you sure it's not hard? I promise you. As a matter of fact, I'll give you my money back guarantee. I'll only show you a few steps I know you can learn. Don't be shy, darling. Uh, Come on. Really easy. Just dance, no harm done. I'm not your friend. Whoa, now. I just killing time while I was waiting for you. So you're waiting for me. That's right, I got a proposition for you. I can't exactly talk about it here. Come on over to the gas station, I'll explain it to you. Well, you coming or not? I got others willing. I'll be right back. heading to California to be on a race car team. Don't worry about my driving. Good. You drive down to the border. It's simple. You pick up some passengers. Sort of like a taxi. In the middle of the night. Tell me something. These passengers of yours, they have any drugs? Is that what this is about? No drugs. We love America too much. They're illegal. Oh, I don't doubt that. Legal what? 
undocumented Mexican workers. We just slip them over the border, hook them up with farmers, construction farmers, that kind of thing. I'm sorry. I'd like to help you, but I can't do it. I don't understand you, Luke. I really don't. Here, I, you come to me this morning looking for work. I, I give you a golden opportunity to do something right by your family. Let me ask you a question. Where's that boy of yours going to sleep tonight? In that car? You have any idea how cold the desert gets at don't night? Don't you get it? It's because of them I can't do this. This is dangerous, Dean. Dangerous? You're driving halfway across the country to start a new life. <laughs> Sounds like more of a gamble to me. I'll give you $200 cash. I need money to get my wife and my son a motel mm -hmm, room tonight. Mm -hmm. No front money for a job like this. I told you, my family comes first. I can't do this, not unless I know they're taken care of. That ought to hold you over. I want half right now. <laughs> this boy's got a pair. Damn. Nope. Stop trusting you, Yankee boy. You'll be back here by 8 o'clock sharp. Oh, hey, Yankee boy. You need a comfortable place to stay tonight? There's a motel on Route 6. Maybe we can still see that giant cow tomorrow. Yeah. If I get out of this alive. What do you mean? What kind of job is this? You know what a coyote is? A what? Coyote. Dean wants me to help him smuggle illegal workers across the border in our car. Wait a second. Nikki, he needs our car. We need the money. I saw Elias today. He's on to us. I mean, he's been on to us. New tell. Now, he knows no one local work with us. Now that Jimmy Neal's fucked up. So, I want you to keep an eye on Mr. Hollywood. Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Don't you worry, none. First time that greenhorn steps on his dick, I'll take him to the woodshed. You take him, I'll take the wife. Figures. not too late to back out. I know we could find something tomorrow. Nikki, there isn't going to be a tomorrow. we got five days to get to Pomona, right? After tonight, we'll be halfway there. down while I'm gone. Come home safe, you hear? <laughs> hey, we'll be fine. I promise. Okay?
Elias, Elias, Elias. Marco fucking Polo. <laughs> They'll catch me. You won the game! And you, Tyler, have won a fabulous furnished dream house in Hollywood, California. Want a cigarette? Thanks, don't smoke. <laughs> Thought all you tough cowboys smoked, huh? Bet you don't even own a horse, do you? Hmm? Would it help if I said yee-haw for you? <laughs> People think the West is dead just because don't look like a John Wayne movie anymore. Well, it ain't dead. It's just updated. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We traded our horses in pickup trucks. Mm. And your cattle for illegal aliens, huh? That's right. <laughs> Damn, what is taking so long, Dean? Look, look, Luke, if you're gonna do this job, you gotta learn some patience. Why don't you go relieve Webb on lookout? Give you something to do. That's a Rio Grande? Yep. That's the only thing that separates Mexico from the United States. Makes it easy to tell them apart. Yeah, but it's so small. I mean, it doesn't even look like a real boundary. It ain't. Yeah, but the Rio Grande, I, I, it's I, supposed I... to be... Tell Dean our guests have arrived. Daddy. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Como esta tu papa? Dean. His liver's doing much better, thank you. You crazy son of a bitch. You know what? I have something for you. Damn well, Lord, I got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's something for your father while he's recovering. He's a Merle Hackett fan, right? <laughs> yeah. Lonesome Fugitive, this is, uh... <laughs> This is hard to find. Gracias. Twenty mestizos. All the way from Tuxla. <laughs> Good. They look big enough to do the work. Tell Sanchez to uh, get him in the vehicles. Fast. Oye, Sanchez. Diles que se apuren, pero rápido. Está bien. Web. Rápido, vamos. Suman. Pero ya, para allá, para allá, sobre la loma. Pero apúrense ya, escalones, vamos. Pero ya, vamos. Fuera de
ask you something. Now that it's all over, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> Glad I'm not dead. That's right. That's right. You're actually aware that you're alive. Now, how many times in life do you actually feel that? How many times do you actually feel that? Thanks for the beer. <laughs> Come on, Luke. You're out in the desert. Freezing cold, scared of the aliens, scared of the cops. Hell, you're probably even scared of me. But you walked through the valley of the shadow of death, and you made it. You're a renegade. You got cojones to steal. You feel invincible now, don't you? Don't you? Come on. Or, uh, exhausted? <laughs> Punch drunk? <laughs> All, right, All, right, All right, now. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Fact is, there you are, paid in full for services rendered. Now, we got another job tomorrow night. That'll be another 500. It should take you to Hollywood or California. Where the hell are you going? The same thing, right? It's all the same. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? All right. All right, deal. Deal! No! Buddy! <laughs> Give him a spanking! Give him a spanking! <laughs> you did it, race car! You did it! You did it! This boy's a class act. Now listen, we're gonna go over, get something to eat at the diner. You're welcome to join us. We got a lot more beer. <laughs> I got a wife and kid waiting for me. <laughs> Ain't that a shame? We're gonna have a few more beers. We're good, some, something to eat. Oh, tequila. Oh, man, you man. want some tequila? I'll see you later. You drive safely now. You're a renegade! You got cojones to steal! Take us all the way to Pomona. here. Didn't know you all were gonna stop here before you got back on the road to Hollywood. <laughs> well, that's just it. Can't really get to Hollywood yet. We lost all our travel money, and we don't have enough to make it to California. We're in a little trouble. I know you said the pay was bad, but I'm asking again. I need a job. Maybe you could ask the owner. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll work in the kitchen. I'll chop potatoes. I'll clean huh, the bathroom. Huh, don't, don't. Besides, only Mexicans work here. <sighs> All right, have you ever had any experience working in a restaurant before? Well, let me see what I can do. Connie, can she work here? Sure, heck, why not? Come on. I own this dream. Ta-da! <laughs> How do I look? Like you were in a waitress uniform. Come on, I'll feed you some breakfast. <laughs> so 
So the Texan says to the Frenchman, right, he says, now, if God had intended a Texan to ski, he'd have made bullshit white. <laughs> Connie, my compliments. Your taste in the service is improving. Now, don't you start on her, Dean. She don't know you like I do. Aren't you even going to say hi, Nicole? I prefer not to. Riley kept out of my life and Luke's. Honey, what are you doing in that waitress uniform? I thought you all were leaving town. Don't mess with me, Dean. Hey, baby. I'm just trying to make your dreams come true. That's what I do. I make people's dreams come true. If it were up to me, you wouldn't have to work a day in your life. Unless you wanted to. Will I want to? I'll do whatever I can to get Luke away from you in this town. No one put a gun to his head. Luke's just an enterprising man. <clears throat> oh, man. Mm. Pardon me, miss. Is that your El Camino parked out front with Michigan Yes. Hmm. Were you down driving by the river last night? Now, Elias, are you telling me a family of Yankee tourists can't come all the way down to Texas without visiting the Rio Grande, without being under your suspicions? I mean, is nobody safe? <laughs> I, I, I was in the motel with my baby. Hmm. Well, that's real strange, because there's Rio Grande dirt all over your car. Now, she didn't say she didn't go down to the river. Did you hear her say she didn't go down to the river? She said she didn't go down to the river last night. Now, honestly, Elias, lots of tourists come down here to see the Rio Grande. It's what they come down here for. Yep. <laughs> well, you will excuse my ignorance, but it's the first time I ever saw a tourist in a waitress uniform. Now, to the best of your recollection, what time did you take your little sightseeing tour down by the river last night. Listen to what you're saying. I mean, he already runs one guy off the road. Now he's gunning for an innocent woman. Elias, this town's gonna file a complaint with the border control if you don't back off. You know, there's a nasty echo in this place, isn't there? Yeah, I want to thank you for your cooperation. And I'm sure that if I need your help again, you'll do everything you can, won't you? Yes. That's a good girl. Y'all ought to get out and enjoy some of that beautiful Texas sunshine today. Weatherman says it's gonna be a beaut. Thank you. My pleasure. Connie gave me a job waitressing at the diner. I was gonna call you, but we got busy. I told you that I was gonna take care of us. I don't want you risking your life for a few lousy bucks. Nikki, it's more than a few bucks. What are we gonna do, live off your tips? If we don't go to California, I lose the job. That cop I told you about, he knows what's going on. He saw the dirt on our car and he was asking me questions. What did you tell him? Dean was there. He said that we were tourists sightseeing down at the river. Yeah. Yeah, Dean's a clever one, huh? It's fortunate how he's always around. You need to get another job. Dane, you think we ought to lay low for a while? It's on your mind, Webb. Uh, Jimmy Neal and old pal Elias. You worried about old Elias? Jimmy Neal got careless. He slipped up. Hey, Elias couldn't find his dick if you were playing with it. can always go back to Detroit. No. I've spent my entire life dreaming of working on the stock car circuit. Every day for four years, I went to work on that assembly line. 
wondering what the hell I was doing there. When it closed down, I spent another eight months wishing I had any job at all. I want my son to be proud of me. Stay alert. Where are you get Yankee boy from? I live in Detroit, not New England. As far as I'm concerned, anyone born north of the Mason-Dixon line is still a Yankee. How long have you lived in Texas? What do you mean? I mean, how long have you lived in Texas? I've never been anywhere in my life but Texas. Never wanted to be. So why do you smuggle? And you own your own gas station. You don't need the money. I do it for the same reason you do it. Because I can. I'm doing it because my wife and I need the money. You got that? OK. How long have you been married? Three years. Known each other since junior high. You lucky man. Beautiful wife, nice kid. What the hell you want to go to L.A. for? Nicky and I have always wanted to go to California. I finally got a job there. It makes her happy. Yeah, I guess I'd do the same thing to hold on to a woman like that. Yeah. That's why I'm not letting her go. Hey! Look alive. They're coming. Hilario, I'm gonna buy you a damn watch so you show up on time. <laughs> How to get your hammocks, you learn to relax some you go. Relax? Wait a minute. What's going on? What the hell is going on? Cutting corners, asshole. Get off. What is this bullshit? What kind of shit are you trying to run? Look, I can explain. Women and children? Jesus Christ, you got any fucking cripples? You got any cribbles? Look, all right, my brother sent me a bus from Guatemala. I need mestizo farm workers on a goddamn bus tonight. What am I supposed to tell this guy, huh? Just hang out and take this while we get our shit taken. Hey, 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 just calm down, all right? My brother sent me a bus off from Guatemala. They came a few days early. What do you want me to do? All you got to do is take him off my Fuck head. Fuck you, goddamn brother. Fuck my goddamn... Shot the goddamn gun, Take Sanchez. Calm down, man. Hurry, 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 hurry. If you ever fucking pull a gun on me, I'll blow your goddamn head off. You want me to blow your goddamn head off? What do you want? Amigo. Amigo, por favor. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it clearly, and I've explained it to you before. Elias has been on my ass ever since Jimmy Neal fucked up. It's too hot right now. This was supposed to be the last goddamn run. Okay. You leave that fucking gun. Hey, drop your fucking gun, Sanchez. Drop your goddamn gun. Put that up your ass like a fucking popsicle stick. Orale. Abaja el arma. Abaja el arma. All right, just relax, okay? I'm relaxed. All right. Now look, they were desperate, and they need a goal. I can't handle them right now, and you owe me, but... You're gonna be taken care of. Orale, give me the damn money. All right. Let's move him out of here. Let's move him out of here! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Move him! Move him! Come on! Come on. Move him! Come on! Move him! Come on! Move him! Come on! Wrap it up! Come on. Go get your mestizos tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, motherfucker. Tomorrow. Let's move it! Come on! Dale, vámonos. Get 
Mortar for Mortar. 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 M
Nikki, he swore to me they were on a train to Houston. Listen to me. You're gonna help me pack the car now, and we're gonna get as far away from here as we can. We'll drive all night if we have to. He didn't pay me. We don't, we don't have any money. I don't care, Luke. We're getting out of here now. Look out the window. So what, we're prisoners now? Is this how you're gonna take care of us? I'm going to the police. And what are you gonna tell them? Huh? What are you gonna tell them, Nikki? My husband's smuggling illegals? Do you want me to go to prison? Is that it? Nikki, all those illegal aliens are trying to do is make a better life for themselves and their families. That's all I'm trying to do for us. Maybe I can't stop you from hurting yourself, but I can stop you from hurting me and Tyler. We're leaving. It's for the best. It's for the best. Don't tear my family apart and try and tell me it's for the best. Don't! Afternoon. Look at those thunderheads. Weatherman says it's gonna be a real ass kicker. It's gonna be a hell of a night for a cross. Well, at least Elias and his boys won't expect us to try nothing. Oh, yeah? What do you make of that? Son, I realize you're not from these parts, so I don't expect you to know every little thing that's going on around here. But you have a real nice little family, and I sure would hate to see them get hurt. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Is there a problem, officer? Do you know what the Navajos call a coyote? A trickster. You see to the Indians, a coyote is a deceiver. Someone who not only steals from you, but loves doing it. Just a little something for you to bear in mind. Why are you telling me this? Your family needs you. You need them. Think about it. I don't need you to tell me how to take care of my family. I'm not doing anything wrong. You hear? Good. I'm glad to hear that. You have a nice day. This can't be good. Elias already saw the... He already suspects car. us. Well, so what? You don't think he's gonna turn us in? Let's hope for Nikki's sake he ain't that stupid. Guess we're about to find out. What's up with you, boy? You look like you just saw Hank Williams go. We need to talk about this. I can't do this tonight. Come on. Now, Luke heart broke as you are about those folks in the box car but we're innocent how was i supposed to know there was any poison in that box you know car? what i don't believe you if i do this run tonight my wife is gonna leave me do you hear me yeah but luke you got the car what you fucking crazy she'll take the bus dean you don't know her she sets her mind to something that's it I'm not going to do this run tonight. I understand, of course. I, I don't got to be a family man to understand the situation you're in. I'll take care of your wife. Leave us the fuck alone! You do. You're driving. Webb, follow us in the truck.
Hey, Webb, you want to do a little babysitting? Oh, yeah. Come on now, Luke. You'll be back real soon now, Dean. how lucky he is to have you. Get out. Oh, that's nice. You know Nikki? Well, she's a lucky gal. You got a pretty mouth. Here we go. Look forward to doing it again. You girls have a good time? Oh, we're having a big time. Aren't we, Luke? We're okay. having a big time. I want you to go in, say goodbye, keep it short and sweet. We're coming in. Be back real soon now. you want to drive away right now. Dean's waiting outside. Do you understand? I have no choice. Nikki, this is going to work out. You have to believe me. We'll leave in the morning. That's a boy who knows how to follow orders. Slow down now. You're not riding in this when it's too hot. You're driving in one of Webb's old trucks tonight. Join you. <laughs> I'm worried about that young waitress and her family. She was practically in tears yesterday. Yeah, that sweet little gal's husband's gotten himself tangled up with Dean. Mm. They're good people, Elias. Uh, we'll see about that. Why do you always have to be so hard on folks? You always push everyone away. Like you? I found out what it's like to make a mistake around you. Hon, that young boy's not just making a mistake. He's breaking the law. When you 
Talking to Elias today. Thought you might be cutting a deal or something. Are you guys getting paranoid? I'm just saying it'd be an awful nasty night for Nikki and that little kid of yours if he was to sell us out. You know what? I've heard enough about my wife from you. Let's just finish the job we came here to do. So I can take my family and get the fuck out of here. Good. There is no problem. We won't bring Nikki into this. No smoking. I said put the goddamn cigarette out. Come on, girls. Don't make me have to pull this truck over. It is pulled over. And shut up. Think it's Hilario? If it is, it's the first time in memory he's ever showed up on time. What? Think maybe it's a coyote? I mean, a real one? Now, if you were a dog, would you be out on a night like this? Right, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Be that stupid, you'd have to be human. Right. You gotta get your mind right, Luke. <laughs> hey, Luke, why don't you go check it out? Why don't you go check it out, Dean? Because hmm? <laughs> this ain't a democracy, and even if it was, Webb would vote with me. Go check it out. What do you think, guys? Maybe I should have a gun? I don't have a spare. You got a spare? No. We don't have a spare. Don't want you shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> don't want you shooting the merchandise, either. Now go check it the fuck out. Don't leave your husband. He's a good husband and he loves you. Maybe you'll find your dream in California. Or maybe you won't. But don't get stuck here on the borderline. You go find out and you take him with you. He needs you. Men aren't strong like us. Strong. It's 
gonna be okay. Thank you. <laughs> what about you, Connie? I take my comfort where I can find it. That's him. About time. Let's go! All right, this is it. Let's go get him. Is a man of his word. Give me the money. Don't spend it all in one place, amigo. Come on. Get ching out of my bed! Not that you're not again! Pinche puto! Andale, Sanchez, Madriano! Espada, come on! Vamonos, andale! Please! Look at the Texas Border Patrol! You are all under arrest! Put your hands in the air where we can see them! That dog sold us out. Give me the 38. No, 
No, no, no, I hate automatics. They always jam on me. I, I want to use the 38. Use the 38. Give me the Luger. Uh, the Luger! Actually, now that you mention it, I believe I could use the automatic. Use the 38. Go. Nicole, we got a little problem. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's real bad. Luke's hurting. He's bleeding. He's bleeding a lot in the head area. I got him over at the at the garage. He's asking for you. Why didn't you take him to the hospital? Now you know we can't. You know we can't do that. So let us let us bring you over there to him. You know what, Dean? This time she ain't buying your shit. Stop it or I'll drop you! Stop it! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Stop it! Glad you went first. Put it down! What did you do with Luke? You said he was hurt! Ah, shut up! I lied! I lied! Listen, you okay? Your husband sold us out. He betrayed us to a lies. For money. Now, I'm gonna take you down to the river and make you drink. Oh, oh, Steve? Great. Get, get the hell out of here. Great. Grab the kid. Stop! Come on. Stop! Who has left you on the ground? You go fucking way. You had him all the time. You're all the time now, bitch. What did you think was going to happen, Nikki, huh? Think you were just going to walk away? Stop! Just leave my baby. Just leave my baby. Just leave my baby. Don't go getting all motherly on me. Get! I got it on Channel 3! I got it on Channel 3! Where's the remote control? Please, How come you ain't got a remote control? Stop! 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 Stop!
not just looking for the right moment to propose. You can get a farm, have a couple chickens. yourself into now, boy! They got a nice little chapel just north of here. Elvis impersonators and everything. Whoa! You know you want me to catch him. Come on! Now, if you just keep running, you're gonna get tired, and if you get tired, you're just gonna get all cranky.
gonna be all right. I want you to take your little family up and put them in that car. Yeah. Drive north up to I-10 West. And just don't look back, you understand? Now go on. Wait a minute. What the hell? I almost forgot. <laughs> There's Bounty on Coyotes in Texas. Now get out of here. Get on out of here. Thank you. Send me a picture postcard from Hollywood. Pomona. What? Out of daylight. Out of irons. Out of the flatlands. I ran like the rain. Attractions, okay? Like a whistle to a blind dog, like each station of the Nazarene. She's been branded into my memory. Escape. 